Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, for those of you who are new here. If you've been here before, hello, hello. So this past weekend, I had my first pop-up shop. Well, I went to my first pop-up shop as a vendor. I learned so much. It went so well. Okay, so if you wanna see how everything went, how I prepared for it, how like I set up my table, keep on watching. Hey y'all, so tomorrow I am participating in my first pop-up shop as a vendor and I have a lot to do like a whole lot to do so um I'm still working until five o'clock or maybe until like I think I actually get off at three technically and then we have like team activities until four so um after that I have more products to make price list labeling and packing up stuff for tomorrow so um I'm gonna take y'all along on a journey for that. And after it's all said and done, I'm gonna come back and tell y'all what I learned. So let's get into it, shall we? I order all of my labels from Avery.com. This video is not sponsored. I just found that they're a really good, reputable company. Um, so everything came in one envelope, but I've ordered from them so much that I've accumulated envelopes. So I decided to like break everything out into its own folder. I designed all my labels myself using Canva and um, if you all want to know how I do that just let me know down below and I will do a tutorial on it. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys the labels that I have so far that are new. I have room and linen sprays and show you what an empty one looks like. So this is one of my empty room and linen sprays. It's called Homeboy and it smells like a very handsome man. I love it, one of our best sellers. I ordered some new labels and because my brand is situated to be affordable luxury, I pay a lot of attention to my labels. So for example, I could have done just like a paper label, but because I like quality and my target audience is someone who also likes quality. I decided to go with a white film label. Um, it's shiny. It doesn't tear down. If you were to spill something on this bottle, it wouldn't mess with it at all. It's waterproof. Today and for the show, I will be bringing our new scent, which is called Homegirl. So my business name is Homegirl Essential. So this is like the brand girl like like this is one of this is the face of the brand this product um i also have nor and next we have our wax melt labels i want to start getting into candles but uh, you have to have insurance to sell candles and it's expensive and i just feel like i'm not there yet so i just kind of want to ease into my brand see how sales go see what scents are popular and then turn those popular scents into candles because making candles is not cheap testing candles is not cheap so we're starting small over here and that's okay as you can see homegirl for the white film is a different pink than the homegirl for the wax melts so i reached out to avery and they're going to send out a replacement so apparently because this is film or i'm sorry because this is white paper it turned out differently um and i didn't know that would happen because all of my labels are white background um so it's just kind of one of those things that you just have to find out i basically have the same sense in the wax melts and as i mentioned before this is on white glossy paper i also made these labels we have a new scent called Throwback Thursday and it smells like Fruit Loops. It just smells so, so damn good. I don't do wax melts in every scent that I do room sprays in because some things just don't make sense to be a room spray. For example, Wake Up Call. That is a espresso flavored um, wax melt. I don't think people really want their room and their linen to smell like coffee. So this is going to be exclusively a candle and a wax melt my body butters so the whipped butters will be for sale 
this weekend as well. Um, I created I created all of my labels on Canva, but for this one in particular, I made a prototype out of it. And I usually will, actually not this one in particular, I usually will do this. So I will go on Canva, create the label, and then I will print it out and make sure that everything lines up dimension wise and just looks really good. I am a UX designer by day. So visuals and the hierarchy of things really matter and they're very important. This prototype turned out into this official product again this is white film and i chose white film for this instead of glossy paper because this product is oil based and i don't want people to dip in the jar and get the product on their hand and then have blotches of oil on their beautiful product it has a nice sheen that's what the back looks like and you've got your ingredients i wanted to bring six to the show but i think i might bring 12 because i don't want to bring too much product but i don't want to bring too little product and not be able to sell as much as i need to sell i have a body butter that's going to be called love letter all right so this is a clamshell it is plastic 100 percent plastic um so this is something that a lot of candle makers don't really like to use because they feel like it looks basic because if you look at Walmart and Target they're using the same or similar clamshells but one thing I can say off the bat is their clamshells are not this deep and they don't fill the product up to the the brim and I do <laughs> so as you can see the product is all the way at the top I don't skimp out. I poured these the other night. I used coconut wax, coconut soy wax. And so we're going to go ahead and label it. So Wake Up Call is this one. And it has coffee, cinnamon, vanilla, and... stock room this one is eucalyptus and mint I actually put like real peppermint in there this is what my labels used to look like and I haven't been able to sell these so I'm gonna bring them and put them in like a, a $5 bin or something like that just to get them off of my hands these are the body butters I have made up already this is definitely what the struggle looks like um, so yeah, I have to count up how many products I have to bring with me. Um, I feel like I have over 60 wax melts and I think I might have six or seven different scents. Before my camera dies I wanted to show you all a quick progression of the price list that I started to make. I started off with this one super basic just kind of like boring and then I was like let me add a little bit of color but now here we are so it's a Valentine's Day um, inspired pop-up shop and so I feel that this price list is probably like the best um, and these are discounted prices I'm gonna raise them two dollars so I'll have two different price lists one to start the the night off with and then one to end the night off with if I have product left over so today is pop-up shop day my room is a hot mess I still have to make up my bed but anyway oh, I'm out of breath I take back everything I said about Avery because they pissed me off today apparently they were supposed to send me my new labels 
with the correct color by yesterday night. We have two hours until the pop-up shop, less than two hours, and labels are nowhere to be found. Tracking number is nowhere to be found. So I'm hella annoyed about that. I started, I'm like a really bad procrastinator. So I actually started like labeling and packaging everything up last night. It would have taken too much to, to record. I'm going to eat and make myself a jalapeno strawberry marg. And I will take y'all along the way. So I will see you all at the location. <laughs> all so much for watching let me know if you have any questions any comments leave them below in the comment box um and i'll see you all on the next video okay bye